as I keep, as I stay in this business, I lose it more and more. So, uh, beautiful day in it. And great, the Lord gives us a day like this. Us be in Oregon, right? Oh, be out the beach. Statistically, your run defense uh, is pretty impressive. How have you felt? Well, you know, uh, stop and love, was, we knew it was going to be a challenge. They got the one power on us that went to the pylon. I think that was about a 20-yard gain. We just didn't fit it up uh, real good right there. Other than that, I thought I thought they did a good job because that running back's going to get I mean, he's really good. You all know that. And uh, that was a big challenge for us. And uh, I thought I thought the guys did a good job with the challenge. If Austin can't go this week, you let, feel enough depth on that line with yeah, Carl Berg yeah, and Baker kind of step in more? I do. I think those are the guys that do well. Yeah, we'll just see how Austin is. You know, we, we'll pray over him, see if he can come out there and play. And uh, uh, But I, I, I feel good about the other guys. Yeah. Austin, Carl Berg and Baker. Yeah, yeah, yeah those other guys. They, they play some good snaps. We saw the play with Carl Berg made on a, was it third and one? We got through there. What a great play. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. I'm sorry. Because we we had two stops in there. I think third and one and fourth and one. The, the, the third the third and one was when they had the big diamond formation. And boy, that's hard to stop that deal. And uh, that was a good play. But Carlberg made a huge play there. Yeah, that was pretty neat to see. What's your scatter for on Cal's offensive line? Uh, good. They're really good. You know, they got four guys back that, that had all started last year. So they're a veteran group as far as that goes. They know what they're doing. They're in the system two years now, and they play hard. They play hard. They're very good. You know, they're, they're undefeated for a reason. They play, team, beat some good teams, too. You scheme for two quarterbacks? They, they play two? Well, you got, you got to know they're both, you know, uh, number five is very, very athletic. He's very, very good. You know, and uh, he can run like you wouldn't believe. And you know, he throws the ball as well. You know, he does both. And seven is really good. And Bowers, I guess, is last year number three. I think they got three very capable quarterbacks. And you, you, um, they all understand the offense. They all do the things that they do. You know, five is going to run a little bit more probably, but he can throw too. So they, they don't tip what they're going to do by which quarterback they play? Uh, some of the formations, not really. You know, you got to kind of, you got to be prepared for all of it because five will get in there and they'll spread it out and and the same things as seven does. They'll do the same with all of them. You know. Mario mentioned the other day trying to find some ways to help you guys on the back end. How much is that just coaching up the, the guys? Is there things well, you can do? How, you know, what's the I, challenge there? Uh, Stanford has some pretty good, pretty good players. You know, 84, 82, two, and 19, maybe one of the better ones in the country. And uh, we did a few things that slowed them down. The first half, I thought we were in pretty good shape. To be honest with you, I thought we were in pretty good shape until four minutes ago. You know, then they, then they hit some balls. And a couple of those were on us, a couple of those were on them, you know, that they did good. You know, I went to some coverage at the end, which maybe I could have uh, come after a little bit more. But, you know, you always get hindsight. You wonder what you could have done to help you uh, win. Uh, but, you know, overall, they played against some pretty good people. They got, they got a lot of weapons. You know, Stanford does. And uh, at times we did some really good things, at times we, we didn't. It sounds like you have confidence in your guys. Oh, yeah. You know, they, they, you have to, don't you? I mean, what are you going to sit there and say, oh, they, everybody's not very, you know, you, you, got, you got to. But I really do. You know, those guys, those guys, they, they, it means a lot to them. You know, if you had a group of players that you didn't think cared, that's a different, whole different world. These guys care, they want to do well. You know, so that's just on us to, you know, coach them. So for about 56 or so minutes, 50, you know, what plus that with overtime, you felt like you guys did really well against Stanford? Well, you know, the, 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 yeah, we held them to seven points. That's not bad. You know, that's a pretty good team. You know, we just, we got to finish the game. We got to finish it as, as a football team, you know, and uh, we know that. The guys know that, you know. It's, uh, it's, a, it's always a challenge. What were some things that maybe flashed on tape that you really liked that guys did? Uh, play hard. They played hard. I controlled the line of scrimmage pretty well. Uh, you know, that was that was big. Uh, you know, I thought we tackled well till at the end we missed a big tackle, but you know, I thought we did some good things. Uh, the guys, they were on it. They were playing with confidence. And uh, you know, a lot different than the year before when we went up there place, you know. How do you think the team bounced back emotionally from that loss? Well, I hope well. You know, I hope well. You know, they're dragging a little bit the first day, which is expected. When you invest a lot into something, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt everybody. And that's the way it should be if you invest. You know, if you don't invest, <laughs> you, don't, you don't hurt as much. So they're going to. They also realize that, that uh, you know, to go into to, to win, to beat Cal at their place, 
you had to go in there and really play one heck of a game. It wasn't the best game we've played all year to win. We know that. It's going to be a great challenge. Their defense is playing well. Do you like yeah. to put some, uh, some, a little more on your guys? Well, you know, their offense plays good enough to put enough on us without even thinking about their defense. Yeah, they're good. There's, they're 3-0. They, they, you know, they beat BYU who's playing really well. Beat North Carolina. Come on. Those are good football teams. You know, they got some players. And uh, so, you know, it's going to be a real challenge. Speaking of Mario earlier in the week about just a lot of factors that are different this week coming off the loss. You have a bye week coming up after this. First road trip could set up a lot of circumstances to be a trap. I don't, I don't think about all that stuff because that confuses me. All, to be honest with you, all I think about is did we have a good practice today? And that's about it. I know all that other stuff is just noise and stuff that I don't, I don't even want to go there. I just think about did we practice good today? What, do I have a cold Pepsi that I'm going to drink right now as I watch film? Then getting the practice ready for tomorrow? I don't even think about, I don't even know what tomorrow the day is. And you're asking me all that, I don't, yeah. That's too confusing to me, I don't even go there. What has allowed Justin Hollins to have his dominant stretch to the beginning of the season? Oh, God's given him a lot of talent. He's got length, he's got great speed, he's got levers. And he's just a great, great guy. He's an unbelievable person and he cares, you know. All right. Good. Thanks, Kelly. Appreciate it. Don't worry about the cumulative effect of all that Pepsi. No, no not at all. Because I, I've, I've got Alec Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's just we got when we got guys in class, and they, they haven't been requested by somebody we can't keep.